What's up everybody, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's Full Auto Friday. We're back out on the range and unfortunately it's raining on us today, but I'm not made of sugar so I'm not scared of the rain. You're gonna get Full Auto Friday regardless. Today, we're gonna have fun with these. These are Core Essentials sunglasses. Now, not only do these look cool, they also provide UVA, UVB protection. They're scratch resistant, smudge resistant, they have an anti-reflective inside and a salt water resistant exterior. The coolest thing about these though, is they've been tested to have a high impact safety rating. So that means they're gonna stop shrapnel and things that fly fast at your face. Now, I don't know if they're gonna stop a bullet, but we are gonna see if we can get them to stop a bullet today and test them against all the other things that they're rated for, which is mostly shrapnel, you know, like lead splatter, things like this. These are ideal for soldiers, the shooting range, work safety glasses, you name it. And today we're gonna put them to the test. So let's get these things set up and have some fun. I really don't wanna get my camera wet, so today we're gonna be filming underneath this tiny little red canopy. I mainly wanna test these sunglasses against shrapnel or like lead spray. So here's what I'm gonna do. I've got a shoot steel steel target set up and I'm gonna use that to create lead spray. When you shoot a steel target, the lead sprays out down the sides and down the bottom. We're gonna set the sunglasses down there and see how they hold up. First, I'm gonna dump 30 rounds on this target, find out where the spray is going, then we'll set the sunglasses down there and do it again. I'm gonna be using the full auto AR and I'm gonna be loaded up with 30 rounds of PMC bronze 556 full metal jackets. Okay, looks like a lot of the lead spray is right through here, so that's where I'm going to set the sunglasses. I also forgot to mention, I set my head on that canopy, I forgot to mention that these sunglasses have some really stout magnets inside of them, and that way you can clip them to just whatever you're wearing, and boop, never going to lose them. Well, before we blast these sunglasses, I want to say thank you to Sonoran Desert Institute for sponsoring today's video. That way I can afford canopies like this so we can shoot in the rain. If you've ever been interested in anything in the firearms industry, like gunsmithing, firearms repair, shooting sports management, Sonoran Desert Institute's got you covered, and it's super easy with their online classes. So if you want to check them out, swing over to sdi.edu for more info. Gosh, let's go see how they held up. Okay, so here is the line of lead spray and here are the sunglasses. And it looks like we had some impacts. Let's go take a look at them underneath our canopy. So it looks like we had an impact right here. That is some jacket from the 556. And it looks like we had another impact right there. Oh, and there's another impact. The camera will focus right there. Okay, let me get these things dried off. I am uh, pretty impressed with these. Okay, so here's our biggest impact, and that's a piece of jacket from the 556. Then we have another impact right there. Lots of little ones through here. And then over here, quite a few. You can see there are a ton of impacts here. That's not water. These are all bulges. There's a big bulge right there, and there, and there. Here's where the jacket hit, and that definitely did not make it through. It doesn't feel like anything made it completely through, but man, it it came pretty close, but it stopped them. I'm out from underneath the canopy right now, so now you can really see the damage that happened to these sunglasses. 
like I said, came pretty close, but none of them made it through. Your face would have been pretty chewed up, but your eyes would have been protected. What in the world, a bunch of geese. Hey. Yeah, they're flying away. Probably pretty smart birds. Okay, so I want to do one more thing. What we just did was pretty extreme. I can't imagine why you would ever have your face that close to a piece of steel for 30 rounds just taking it to the face. But if you did, at least your eyes would be protected, right? So now I have another pair of these glasses. Brand new pair. We're going to set them up and see if we can take a round directly to the lenses. And I think the best chance we have of stopping around is some number eight bird shot. So I'm going to go set them up on the steel target and we're going to blast them with a shotgun. We got to improvise. I got the sunglasses set up and I'm going to be using my new 12 gauge shotgun that I picked up the other day. This is a Rock Island Armory VRPA 40. This is a mag fed pump 12 gauge shotgun. Pretty cool. Five round mags. This goes in right there. Got a fiber optic sight, ghost ring on the back. Pretty cool 12 gauge shotgun. I'm excited to shoot it. I have not shot it yet. This is two and three quarter inch number eight bird shot. Mm. I don't think it stopped that. But I've got two more rounds in there, so. Oh! Oh, what's going on here? You just got jammed. See, this is why we test stuff out. Pretty bad when you buy a brand new gun, first time shooting it, and it malfunctions on camera. All right, let's see. Huh. Oh. have to play around with that a little bit. I hate when that happens. <laughs> well, that's surprising. Okay, so the lenses blew out of the frame. So we got no lenses in there. The frame held up really well. We've got, oh man, the pellet's actually in the frame. There's a pellet in the frame. So the frame stopped the number eight bird shot. Do you think that the lenses did? I'll give you a minute. Okay, so they did. They stopped the number eight bird shot. So we have several hits on both lenses. Here's the back of the lenses. And you can see that none of the number eight bird shot made it through that lens. And, and also lens number two stopped all of it. So I mean, you would have caught some bird shot to the face the lenses would have blown out and hit you in the eye, but would have stopped the pellets from hitting you in the eyeballs. Pretty impressive. I know today's video was a little bit different, but I still hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you want to check out Core Sunglasses, there's a link in the description down below. There's also links that will take you to KentuckyBallistics.com to check out my clothing. Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, and Twitter. Be sure and check those out. As always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.